Hi, my name is Jacqueline McGrath, and I don't know about you, but when it comes time for supper hour, I call it the bewitching hour because I have to try to come up with a healthy meal that my family's going to love in a very short period of time. So what I'm going to focus on today is showing you how to make an amazing stir fry. So give me a second and we'll get this running. And we'll continue on. Okay, to do this um, chicken stir fry, what I've done is I've pre-cut up my vegetables, I've chopped up my chicken, and you're going to see how quickly this can be done. So basically all I'm doing is adding about three tablespoons of lemon juice, and of course the acidity in that will marinate with the meat and make it um, tender. We're adding some soya sauce, and again equal amount, so about three tablespoons. And we're going to add, now you have two choices here, you can either use um, a garlic clove and you can just, uh, with our garlic um, press, you don't even need to peel it, but you can just put that right in as well. Or if you're really uh, an epicurean already, you can just add some of the minced garlic. And how, the equivalent of one half a teaspoon is equivalent to one clove. So just so that you can see the difference, we'll just add that in as well. Okay, so that's our garlic. Now, of course, with any stir fry, we need some ginger. And, and we do carry ground ginger. However, I'm a big fan of using um, fresh ginger. I don't think that there's anything better than. So we'll get that a little bit of a scrape in there. And this is the secret to the success of this. It's called our Asian stir fry. And basically what this is, is I believe has 13 different spices packed into one jar. So save you a ton of money at the grocery store because now you're not buying all 13 different spices. You're just buying one. So this is called our Asian stir fry. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to add roughly a tablespoon. And you'll notice these lovely measuring spoons that I've got here. Um, oval shapes, so they actually fit inside spice jars, hallelujah. So even the tablespoon will fit, so that's amazing. So we'll just put that in there as well. And then we're going to add our chicken, and we're just gonna let that, oops, we're just gonna let that marinate for a little bit. Give it a good stir. Okay, now my next step that I wanted to show you is this chicken broth. And um, unlike some of the store-bought chicken broth that you purchase, this chicken broth has got a fraction of the sodium content in it. So you will definitely want to, um, if you're trying to cut out sodium in your diet, maybe the doctor's told you you've got high blood pressure and that's something you need to look at, you may want to take a really good look at all our different bullions. They come in vegetable, beef, and of course chicken. So um, what you do is we're going to add roughly a teaspoon, one heaping teaspoon, to a cup of water. And this is so we have a nice sauce in our dish. So we'll just tuck that aside. Now we need to add some cornstarch to here. So let's Let's get a little cornstarch. And we're going to add roughly about two tablespoons of cornstarch here. I probably should have used a smaller spatula here, but just grab the first one I can see. And I'm just going to dissolve this cornstarch so I don't have any lumps in my stir fry. And I'm going to get the oven going here the stove going, I should say. So I've got that all done. So we've got our chicken marinating, we've got our veggies all chopped up, I've got my chicken bouillon going here, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat my saute pan, or my wok, actually, and you can see how beautiful this is. This is great. Um, it's a non-stick one. I don't know if you can see it very well from there, but it's a non-stick wok. It's amazing. It's good, as you can see, on a glass top stove, so it's got a flat surface use this a ton of times. Uh, it does come with the lid as well, but we're just going to get this heated and then we're going to cook up our chicken, throw our veggies in, and we've got stir fry.
just added my chicken to my wok and as you can hear it's sizzling here and I'm using some nonstick tongs um, the nice thing about that is they're silicone tips so they're not going to scratch this and we're just going to give this a quick stir and uh, make sure that our chicken's well coated and then we'll add our veggies and our supper will be done in a short period of time I should have mentioned earlier as well when you're chopping up your um, veggies we've got a couple different knives that are available uh, as you will note I was using this um, this is our chef's knife and it's got a whole tang um, that goes all the way through so you're not going to have things falling apart it's really nicely weighted and and feels really good in your hands so that's great for chopping and um, when I was doing my ginger I also used our our little paring knife so those are a couple additional items as well see as you can see we've got our Asian stir-fry done and um, wasn't that easy and like I said if you use the Asian stir-fry the chicken bouillon which is low sodium and perhaps the minced garlic as well instead of regular garlic you'll speed up your cooking process and you'll get amazing results